Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Seed Story Cup 4. Um, we have our next top eight match with uh, Gara against Wreckful coming up. That's going to be exciting, guys. Yeah, the yes. Tempo Storm all kill matchup. Tempo Storm will win, Tempo Storm will lose. Either way, people will be happy. <laughs> yes. So, how much do we know about what they're playing? Absolutely nothing. They, they were allowed to change decks before top eight, right? Yeah, that's true. So yeah. there's going to be some new cards, maybe? And there's going to be more decks because it's best of seven now, right? Yeah. Uh, as far as I know, Rockfu haven't researched about Gara's previous <laughs> match yet. <laughs> when I told, told him that Gara plays Shaman, he was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've seen Rockfu get away from the poker table all weekend, so... No. Um, yeah, I don't think he might... He, Prepared for Gara, so... I mean, if, yeah. if, if there's one thing you can't say about Rickful, it's that he's tryhard. <laughs> <laughs> that you can't say or that you, you can't? You can't. Okay, okay. He takes it casual, and I like that. Yeah, and he did better than me in this tournament. Yeah, <laughs> Feels too. bad, man. <laughs> oh, Something. he is wearing a Feels Bad Man shirt. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I wonder where did he get this. I want one of those. That looks that's a good shirt. I mean I actually think he has a chance to win this series. Absolutely. It's uh Yes. It's like the odds of Gara winning are maybe slightly Gara favored, but not like huge. Mm -hmm. It's not a huge margin on this uh, mm -hmm. series. Rockful will win because he's the killer of Gamba. <laughs> he's the killer of Gamba. Yes. Gamba Gamba. Right. He is, he's a pretty casual guy. It's just that's how he's gonna play. <laughs> the shoes on the, the shoes. on the desk. Yeah. And um, um, King Casual over there. King Casual. Yeah. We're waiting for our players to ship to be ready. Yeah. It's gonna be a long series, best of seven. I mean, we we saw Rickful roping every turn in that control warrior mirror yesterday, so I'm I'm looking forward to some rope. Oh man. Couldn't there's, oh, and shaman fits. games are so long. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Shaman game is okay. As long as it's a new cast. We're having a new cast now. Yeah? Exciting new new meta. Exciting new meta. Wait, is there a ban at, there, is there a ban at this stage? In yeah, there is. Still it's, it's five decks, one ban. Oh, uh, Purple, you sound like you are not in the top of it. Why, why, why you are not familiar with the rule? Um. Well, I, once I lost, I stopped paying attention to what the rules are. Uh, oh. Yeah. Okay. If you're not playing in the tournaments, why do you need to know the rules? Oh, so you are, you, you are already out. I thought you were still in. No, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough, unfortunately. Oh, it's okay. You're stu uh, at least you're not Raynaud. <laughs> <laughs> at least I'm not Raynaud, indeed. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So we're still waiting. Uh, go. All right. So this should be starting any second. They seem both ready. Rekfold yes. is writing down his last his last preparations that he just did like five minutes ago. From uh, talking to Rekfold, he doesn't seem very confident in the longer games. He says he has, he has a hard time focusing after 30 seconds or so. Uh, okay. So this this best of seven should be pretty uh, grueling on him. Okay. So it will be very fun if Rockful can rock uh, Gara. Yeah, that, I, I mean, I would like to see it. That I'm really be... looking forward to it. Wow, Shaman! Yeah, Shaman. Shaman versus Temple Mage. Yep, and oh. Zombie Chow, Creeper, two four drops. Actually, Gara can keep the whole hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like he has a curve, like one drop, two drop, coin Maybe four, not hit the August. four. Maybe he wants to look for some removal. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I wouldn't fault him for keeping the whole hand. And he, he does. I think, I think it's good. And from Rockful's perspective, I think you ship it all away because that is not a good hand. I mean, Gar also knows that he's playing against Rockful, and he played Tempo Mage throughout the tournament so far. And uh, I mean, if anyone knows Rockful, he probably, like, he's not going to change his decks. He's, he's oh, absolutely not. So, I mean, keeping a one drop into a two drop, into a four drop, into another four against the Temple Mage yep. is kind of what you want, right? Rekful has dating about this mirror image, and I think it looks like he's going to keep it. I don't, 
What does that do against shaman? Uh, it gets lightning stormed. <laughs> You have to have landing storm first. Well, yeah, I guess. And Zombie Chow is going to get played, and that's going to start knocking off out these uh, two totems. Yep. And Scientist, best two drop in the entire game, gets played from Wreckful. Uh, I mean, these are some pretty straightforward turns. So you're playing it super yep. fast. Yep. And probably your first real decision from Wreckful here. He has a Frost Bolt, an Arcane Blast, and Arcane Inflect. What do you go with? I guess you go Arcane Intellect. I mean, there's really no point in Frost Bolting. You could have Frost Bolted the Zombie Chow if you wanted to do that last turn. He decided to go with Med Scientist, I would think. Yeah, and he, and he went with Arcane Intellect. So he wants his Med Scientist to die? Uh, ideally, yeah. You want that guy to die, mm -hmm. pull, pull out the secret. Was he, yes. he was running like two counter spells and one entity this yeah. turn, right? No, he was running no entity. Just two counter spells? Two yeah. counter spells, one, one duplicate. duplicate. One Can dupe. he change his deck? Yeah, he could, but so it's two. It's two count. <laughs> so it's two counter spells. One dupe. We yeah. assume that yeah. he doesn't change, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like the Argus here. Yeah, yeah the Argus yeah. is nice. It actually allows to clear the board fully. Yeah. And looks like he's putting damage on the Chow to avoid pure power from Mage actually doing anything. Makes sense, right? And uh, Wreckful with the all removal hand. And there's oh. there's a mana worm. Yeah, that, that's pretty much lethal in the, in the hand. <laughs> <laughs> if, if that guy sticks to the board, it's lethal. Uh, so Arcane Blast on the Chow, and then a Frost Bolt on the Argus. The Argus. And do you, do you hex that? Like, no. that, that guy's scary, man. No, you're going to get 1-1 one, one stuff. Oh. oh! And Kazan on Curve seems good to me. Counter spell <laughs> with only spells in the hand. Right that's on yeah, time. mad, man. Oh, baby. <laughs> He does draw this slow feb though, but do you, do you just want to play spells anyways? I mean, the low feb is kind of useless here just because if he trades into the Haunted Creeper, yeah, like, then I guess you don't trade here, right? Yeah. Okay, I like that. So if you play the low feb, otherwise everything just dies for free. All right, so Gara can stay on curve again, play the Sludge. Well, Gara's just playing off the top Yeah. yeah this game. Mm -hmm. He's doing really good off the top. Uh, he won't play the two drop because he wants fire elemental next turn. Yeah, fire elemental on six is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I mean, is there is there any point of playing the shredder instead of the the belcher? Yeah, there is because like the belcher just dies to the low feb on board. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you play the shredder, the low feb has to attack into the creeper, which is like not a desirable attack, and yeah. that attack actually sets up for fire elemental anyways. Yeah. So I I did like that attack a bit more, but. Ah, following curve is pretty good too. Yeah. What did he get from East Portal? Yep. Wind speaker? Wind speaker. Not bad. That's not actually that bad. He can clear the whole bunch now. Yes, this this draw is pretty good. Does he kill the belcher? Does he kill both taunts? I, I Does he use frostbolt? It's you're playing against shaman though. Like you could clear both. Because you're going into turn six, but otherwise I would definitely clear the the second part of the sludge here, just because they have mm -hmm. problems dealing one damage. Yeah, that's what he goes with. Also, if you hit into the creeper, then th then you only have one dude, and that dude dies to fire elemental. That's yeah. why you you have two dudes. But, but it still gets cleared by fire elemental. He's I mean this is the turn where everything goes badly for Rekko. Yeah. Absolutely. And Major is running out of card. Here, do you use yeah. a, a can intellect? Yeah, his flame cannon does uh, end up killing the fire elemental oh, most yeah, of the time. Oh yeah, this. <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> Violet teacher, that's something new you don't see every day in Temple Mage. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. it's a good card. I mean, it spawns one ones when you have spells and when you have sixteen spells in your deck. Yep, yeah, sixteen one ones sounds good to me. Yeah. Um. I mean, I guess you hex here, right? Is Gar running any mechs that aren't Shredder, or is he just is he running Power Maze because it's just like a good card, or what's going I think, on here? I think so. He but just he, likes running, this card very much. I I'm, I think it's for the Freeze Mage matchup. Uh, he's running double Doomhammer, I think. What? Like double Doomhammer, like just full weapons. Oh, that would explain the, that would explain the Kazan then, yeah. Yeah, it's for free. I'm pretty sure it's for Freeze Mage. Like he's running maybe one Power Maze, one Doomhammer, but he's definitely running both weapons. And 
Oh, um, more counter spells and checkmate. <laughs> that's that, that's a very fast game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you curve out as shaman against a deck like Temple Mage, I guess you're pretty yeah. you're pretty heavily favored. Zombie Chow, oh, Creeper, Coin Four into Four. Hey, into oh, oh, into Kazan on yeah. Four. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was pretty. That good. was really good. Well uh, done, Gara. Rock Four had very bad draw. He play our color and turn like on turn three. Yeah, I guess yeah. I guess the way you win, like any way, any uh, against any deck as Tempo Mage is that uh, you have tempo, tempo, and he is did not have no. Uh, like when you draw cards in the early game like that, you're forgoing your tempo f for those additional cards. And there was no Flame and, Breaker. Yeah, and you you just lost all every tempo available to the Kazan as well. Yeah, he so, like, had he had a two drop, but then he had like nothing to follow it up. So, Tempo Mage eliminated, Shaman goes through. What do you counterpick to beat Shaman? I actually don't know how to beat Shaman. Um, the class is unbeatable for me. He <laughs> has Druid, which is normally a pretty bad matchup. He has Warrior, which is a pretty okay. bad matchup. Well, I guess he doesn't think the Druid is that bad. Yep. Uh, Ancient of War is really good in this matchup until it gets hexed. Yeah, I mean... At least there's, like, no Urshocks, right? I have no, I have no idea what he's running the list. I guess maybe one Earth Shock is pretty standard, right? It's like back in the day when you ran five pens and there's like two Earth Shocks and Shaman. That guy never got value. Now yeah, at least there's a chance for him, right? I mean, still like a five. You still get a five five or five four if you're a Shock. So Wreckful missing Wild Grove so far, missing um, Darnassus, missing Innervate. Very mediocre hand. He decided to keep Wrath. Because like Shaman has like early game minions, so it's like not a bad call, but his hand's really suffering from it. Yeah, he really needs the top deck. But if you're a good Druid player, on turn two, you play Wild Grove. You know it. There is there is only one card that makes the difference from a really good, uh, really bad Druid hand to a really good Druid hand, which is Innovate. Uh, one of the best cards in the game. And Garo goes ahead and keeps a Rockbiter, and that's probably just Ooh. to deal with the Darnassus. He plays Alec here. Alec here and, and a Flame Tongue Totem. They this is like don't do anything this early in the game. No. <laughs> oh boy, that's Dr. Boom. But that's a very, very slow hand uh, from the Druid perspective. Um, Keeper, not really what you want to see. Me. Do you want to hear a power hit the Creeper? I mean, <laughs> if, if you had Swipe, maybe. Wreckful with the premature well played, as you realize <laughs> his hand is not good. I guess he can top deck like a shade here, and that would kind of make his hand a little bit better when he can coin out. Oh okay, boy. that's not a shade. Oh boy. Mm. Do you coin the Keeper and try to start fighting for board control? Against Shaman, I guess it's not that bad. Yeah, the 2 4 contests all the totems and. Like, maybe you top deck something to do next turn? Ooh. Like, oh. like Gara just did? Yeah. Is that actually better than Defender here? You I get... like the Shredder better, because next turn there will be a Shredder from, from the Druid. Like, you can't expect the Druid to hear a power on four with coin in hand. So, well, no. you also don't expect Druid to hear a power on turn two and turn three in this game. So far, he's careful has done just yeah. that. Well... Dr. Boom? Mm -hmm. Oh, this game's close again. Yeah. <laughs> Innervate Dr. Boom. <laughs> Innervate there we go. Guard. I mean, the bombs... Does, uh, does Gara have big game hunter targets in his, in his deck? Because like, that big game hunter from Wreckful could have been played the turn prior, right? And Gara's playing an Iron Beacal over Earthshock, I assume? Yeah, that I guess, I guess that's what very strange. You, yeah. That is very, very strange. I saw his deck before the game. It is a very weird deck. I used this deck to climb on ladder, and it w works very terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Owl, Owl, I guess, is he wants the body. He has he has one Hellbolt or two Hellbolt. I cannot remember, but it combos with the Pyro... Pyromace. Yeah, the power mace. Okay. That's the way he so used the power mace. Okay, so he has Shredder and he has so the, so the Flame Tongue in conjunction with the Rock Fighter does seven, killing the Doctor Boom. And does he tempo out the Boomba? No, he's uh, gonna stout him. Do you go for Totems are pretty good. Is there any point in trading? That's kind of an attack your opponent has to make because your guy has taunt. Yeah, so. I mean, it's kind of bad, like, if, 
it's still Druid doesn't want to use like two mana to Wrath on turn. Yeah. Well, yeah. now they might. Ah, uh, yeah. Wrath and Shade looks like a reasonable turn. Yeah. And uh, then you have like a pretty good chance to kill another minion with your Boom Bot. So yeah. it's going to be two. Uh, actually, there's something to consider here with the big game hunter in uh, hand. Uh, like turn six, the fire elemental turn for the shaman. If you leave the flame tongue up, maybe, yeah, you, maybe you actually get a target because you leave the flame tongue up. So maybe you just leave the flame tongue up this turn and just like say silence the haunted creeper or something. No, I was thinking of wrath. Oh, that's too greedy. I was thinking of wrathing the haunted creeper, and then hitting into a one-one with your boom box. Oh, and you get to kill the flame tongue too. Wow, you guys are yeah. so confident. But then, yeah, then you can kill your kill the flame tongue with the. Uh, with the shade next turn, if you really need to. I hate shade of Nexoramus with a passion, so I would lightning storm here every time, but I know it's wrong. Okay, that's a pretty good boom bot. Yeah, uh, sets up for swipe, but pretty good for Gara or pretty good for Rockfall. For Rockfall, yeah. Uh, Gara seems happy about this too. Oh, well, he's ha gonna be really happy not to get swiped here. Um, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, he was actually without. Like, there's no reload in Gara's hand. This is all situational garbage. Yeah. Besides, I guess, yeah, like here. Like, Healbot, 3-3 three, three for 5. Iron Mikael, 2-1 two, for 2. Not very good. Lightning Storm is only good if you're behind on board. Yeah. And, yeah, so if you could just get swiped here, like, this would be, that would have been a disaster. What do you think of playing Keeper and killing in the Shredder? Feels bad, man. Like, ping for 2 and Hero Pirate? Or silence no, trade. No, silence trade and hero power one one. Ah, uh -huh. is it isn't that better than just playing the low tap? No, I guess you play the druid of the claw and taunt, right? Uh, you already saw one flame tongue, but like you haven't seen a hex yet. Yeah. And honestly, like you playing two minions onto a board against shaman actually does play into lightning storm. It does. Uh, and he has to play around fire tongue, fire elemental. Oh, he's gonna clear the totem. Okay, that's and kill one one. What what attack does the shade make then? Is it just staying? Is it just staying home? I guess it's, you're just waiting. That's kind of like it's. Ooh, power miss. That actually pretty good. Yeah, it actually preserves the health on the shredder. Oh, but with healing totem, you might as well just attack with the the shredder into the two four now, right? So you go face with the power mace then? Because, I mean, you're not playing heal bots, so... What if you just... Oh, does uh, Garo know there's no, no, like, Harrison Jones in Rifle's deck? I mean, there wasn't before, so... Yeah, so, okay, then maybe you just equip it and, like, don't swing. Like, I there, guess. There's not really a relevant attack to make with it. Yeah. He's not I going to play how about next turn anyways. I think he can equip and not attack. Yep. Because uh, next turn he probably play Alakir or something. I mean, it depends. You can, if you want it on your on your uh, shredder next turn. Maybe he's actually considering the lightning storm here as well. It's not that bad. Oh, and Garo says it's time for face. He does have like six bursts with the alloc here, nine from the weapon plus oh, five from the weapon if the shredder doesn't die, right? So that's six, yeah. 11, 15, 16, 17 damage next turn. Yeah. Very close. Oh, there's the swipe. Uh, almost. It's like almost not good anymore. He doesn't have. Yeah, like, he really I, wanted last turn. Yeah. Um, now he can just play Druid of the Claw, I guess. Nope. Still gonna swipe, but I I don't mind this at all. Get this garbage off the board because it's just oh. pushing gradual damage. And Knife Juggler actually has to die right now. It's pretty unfortunate. The Shade has to come out of stealth, but Shaman is really bad at dealing one damage. Yeah, they are. But the, you you do see the weapon, and I guess it's gonna get used to clear this. Yep. But, but that doesn't go face then. Uh, do you maybe you like heal, heal bot for two, then iron beak it, then swing or? Wait, do you, you don't need to. You, you want to if you swing with the weapon, you want to have heal bot on the board so it gets the buff, right? Yeah, of course. Like, I, I, so guess, I guess heal bot and creeper. But the I guess the only other play is playing Alakir just on board and just going faced with the three with the six damage. No, no. Well, you could just use the bubble to kill off the shade, right? And save the weapon and next turn use. Use it to buff the. Yeah, I the guess. I, I like that the most, actually. I like here is just, and he it's kind of hard to kill it. He won't lose any health next turn. I don't. Anyways. Yeah, this heal butt's not getting value uh, for a while. I don't, it's not really that big of a problem for Gary. That just kind of means he's winning. Yeah, yeah. He he wants to play the play the longer game when you're playing shaman against druid. The only problem is he doesn't really have the removal for when 
when Rekful finds like an Asian Oblore, finds some bigger things, it's gonna be hard for him. Okay, he values the bubble really highly here. Um, I can see why, because I mean, I'd imagine if Alec Hero was a mech, that card would be busted. Yeah. And he has he has the owl as well. And like, those are the wild growths <laughs> he needed earlier. Yeah. Uh, ouch! Is this just like a force nature turn? Yeah, it is. Feels bad, man. I mean, if he knew the hand of Gara, like he wouldn't feel as bad. Yeah, this is like, like there's still nothing good in Gara's hand. Yeah. Gara will top deck because he had very bad draw. The All right, what's coming off the turns. what's coming off the top, Eloise? Ooh, oh, that's a that's, that's a card. That's pretty good. That's a card. Yeah, that's pretty good. It, it's definitely a card. It's a card. Mm. It it does actually lock Rackle out. Yeah. Didn't you guys discuss about uh, what ancient of lore and ancient of war? And this is the correct answer. So this is a good card. Yeah, it is for sure. Absolutely. Um. So what's the play here? I guess you'd taunt, do you taunt. You, actually, maybe you just Lothab. I think I like the Lothab more. But the, the the only problem with playing Lothab is that you really can't play the Darnassus and be happy about it because the heal bot just gets could, like the perfect trade. You could also like Darnassus towards ten, then cycle one of the Wild Gross and still yeah. go with one of your five drops, right? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. That's not a play that if you haven't played a lot of Hearthstone, like that you actually it, see. Yeah. yeah, that's it's uh it's not that obvious. No, it's not that obvious. It's exactly the same as playing two Wild Gross this turn, right? Yeah. Uh, not the worst. But like, if he value more about the Nessus Temple, he probably won't play like that. Yeah. Um, even if like he low fibs though, like eight mana hex is a fine answer to it. Mm -hmm. So like it just looks like Gara's gonna out out tempo out uh, Rekful in the spot. Nope. And I can see the big game. Oh, uh, I, I it's don't, really I, bad against Fire uh, Fire Elemental though. Um. Oh. All right, that that's four damage. There's four on the board, Eight. so he's four off. Uh, but he gets the perfect trades. So now he has the thing like he. I don't think he can start with rolling a totem because he has the flame tongue now and he has two eight mana spells. So that's a Do that's his whole mana pool. Uh, I think the lightning storm is pretty reasonable, and then you maybe you just trade in the creeper. Yeah. And just kind of and set elemental? up. Yeah, set up lethal for next mm -hmm. turn. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. That's a very strong board. You think you need to do that? Uh, it sets up lethal, so I think it's a good play. Uh, this works just as well, I guess. Yeah, this works just as well. Uh, actually, no, it doesn't. Cause now it's one. It's like two off lethal this way. Yeah. By popping the creeper, you gave yourself the extra damage. Ooh, you that's needed. that's a really good top deck. Double claw is pretty sick. You get the charge one and taunt the other. Yeah. But and we can go through taunt. It's not a problem. Hoot hoot. And oh, oh there's the top deck. That's the lethal. God, Gara is just Gar is just like playing face under here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the old Iron Beagle kill command trick <laughs> works every time. And that's two o on two o on shaman. Yeah, I've I haven't seen shaman win in a long time. This yes. is pretty cool. Very impressive. Really, really cool. Uh, so I mean, the druid, the druid did draw pretty poorly. So Rekfall's like best idea to counter shaman was bring the druid. So it's like, where do you go from there? Like once, <laughs> once your it, druid's out. Like, I mean, it has to be hunter, right? Oh man, there's zombie chow and heal bot. Oh, it feels bad, man. Oh, yeah, it's but it's it must be better than warrior though. Ooh, I, I'd have to agree. Oh, scientist is pretty good. Oh, is he playing mid range or no? Is he playing? No, he's playing. I guess uh, hybrid. Hybrid. Organ infiltrator tends to be like a face hunter card, so it's always yeah. But it's like in the same hand as a shredder. A lot of people here are playing like hybrid with Morgan infiltrator. Don't know why. Uh, so Gara drew Zombie Chow, and that's probably lethal <laughs> against Hunter. That card's really good. Well, you keep Unleash. Yeah, against Shaman, I think you do. I think you keep the whole hand. Yeah, he does agree. Um, it's like you have, already have a one drop, a two drop. Um, oh my God, I mean, totem it was, golem. It was more important. Like this matchup was like super prevalent. Like when uh, when Buzzard Unleash was a thing. Yeah, absolutely. Like this matchup, you played it so often. But yep. that was like, oh, insta-keep yeah. unleash. 
Yeah, absolutely. And even explosive traps, if, at the time you'd knock off two health off the feral spirits, get them to one, yeah. set up for the buzzard unleash draw two, to clear your board trick. Uh, Shaman's just been out of the meta for so long that I don't think many people are actually comfortable playing against it. No, I think I think I think I've played like maybe one game against Shaman in like three, four months. <laughs> Oh, and the overload here is a bit of a problem. He wants healing. Whoa. Oh, yeah, he got it. That's pretty cool. He got it. So that's really interesting. Uh, Rexel did an attack with the Worgen last turn, right? I, I mean, it, it worked out for him this, this time, I guess. So but this, this is game is looking really bad for. So is that you a? You don't want to pop the secret this turn. Is it a freezing trap or is it? He a probably a will wreck the bag, uh, the ball, the weapon. Yeah, it's freezing trap because he can't play the second one in his hand. So yeah, yeah. It's freezing so it's trap. freezing trap, which locks out that totem golem, and Gar is actually in a weird spot. I guess he does have this power maze to greet the shredder, but that, that hurts. He has the rock biter though, so he can freezing trap the uh, the totem. Ooh, that's really cute. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I like that play a lot. And then and you can still pick up the value trade with the 3-4 yeah. here. Uh, Gara sees it. Gara best shaman. Gara best shaman. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, you might actually be able to play heal bot like in next turn on... and uh, pop power the power mace. mace to buff it. Yeah, this is pretty cool. And killing the leper gnomes, he's actually going to get full value he's out freezing. of the heal bot. I guess you don't, right? You don't freezing here. Ah, uh, hero power. He can freeze Two next damage. Turn because yeah, but he we has haven't like, got anything to play. He has next good trades, so why would you freeze him? Absolutely. So full value from Hillbutt. And 5-5. Five, five. Pretty good card. And you really don't want to freezing trap yep. this. Um, <laughs> you definitely cannot freezing trap this. He needs a, he needs something. He needs Loathing. a drop here. He needs Ow. I guess he can it's because better than how about is like five mana. It plays it plays well with your unleash. You're gonna leave the healing healing uh, heal bot at one HP. I maybe. think you probably want to uh, maybe set up a good board for Kaiman next turn. Maybe you do freezing trap it though, yeah. like and and then the yeah you have an empty board. You try to get an empty board high main, but this high main this uh, fire elemental is actually just disgusting here. Mm -hmm. And high main into like nine power in play. Like Hunter's way behind. Ooh, that's, and, that's actually pretty good. Bow and trap's pretty cool here because the the fire elemental won't be able to do anything. Yeah, uh, but he he like Gara has double creeper. Yeah, Gara's not attacking this turn with that fire elemental. He's just gonna play double creeper and make a totem. And Hyman is not very strong against Shaman because Shaman has Hex and Earth Shock. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the reason why people started playing uh, Shaman against Hunter in back in the day when it was like the old mid range Hunter. Yeah. Just because you had Hex against Hyman. That's just kind of surprising. He actually only plays one Creeper. Uh, guess he's playing around Unleash, but how do you pop both, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, there was definitely some juggler Unleash that could have popped both, maybe. Yeah, but it, you you don't get the doggies because the unleash the doggies would. But you pop could the other one. you could pop one. And yeah, but you can five. pop you can pop one anyways. So I don't I don't see the reason behind actually holding one back. No, maybe I'm just messing it. Uh, but he yeah. can he can do it here if you attack with your weapon unleash. What's the point? That's not a very good play. Yeah, I think it's just high main. Hope your opponent doesn't have hex, and. Um, that's a oh. Kazan Mystic. And that's so sick. Twice why the would, same Why wouldn't series. he just Kazan? I mean, casually crackle set for seven first. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Kazan was so good there. Yeah, oh, oh. He's, he, he kind of knows that... Um, <laughs> his, he kind of knows his opponent might have Unleash or anything, so the Freezing Trap's actually not going to do much. Yeah, wow, okay, that's so true. Wrecked. That's true. And uh, Kazan 2, Wreckful 0 so far. Three. We thought uh, this was going to be a long series. Yeah, Shaman all the way. That's 3 0, so it's match, three for match, Shaman. Point, match point for Shaman here. Gara, best Shaman to be precise. And what's uh, Rekful's last deck? Mm, try Hard Warrior. Try Hard Warrior. Try yes. Pay to win? Mathematic Warrior. Pay to win Warrior. Okay. Right. Um, it's, it's, I don't know. Sh um, 
Gara's deck doesn't actually look like it's good against Warrior. Like Kazan, Healbot, garbage like that or not. Like he doesn't he doesn't seem to have like the cantrips like the Azure Drakes to keep up in the matchup. Yeah, he might he might run low on resources. That might be how yeah. Rekfo's gonna win this game. Gara know how to play this ma matchup. Trust him. As, as, <laughs> trust in trust Yeah, Rekfo haven't got double bro. It's very easy. Very easy matchup. Okay. I already like uh Rekfo's hand a lot. He does decide to pitch the bash, which I don't I don't uh, agree with. Bash is really good because, like, when Flame Tongue gets hidden behind yeah. Taunt Totem, you want something to I kill agree. it. Yeah. So just having a Bash in your hand is, like, a really handy tool for, for the game. He probably is looking for a small weapon. Uh, Fiery War Axe? Yes. Small weapon. All right, gotcha. Um, so Coin Creeper into Totem Golem into Flame Tongue, maybe? That's yeah. a pretty possible good. curve right now. Creeper with Flame Tongue, Taunt Totem can kill Acolyte. What is kind of cool about this play is, like, Slam the Creeper first, obviously you don't get overloaded, but you actually chip off the one armor, so Shield Slam's actually not yeah. a possibility anymore. Yeah. That's actually sure. that's actually a really big deal. Um, armor Smith gets picked up, it, it dies on board, so it's, I, it just doesn't make sense to actually play that. In this matchup, though, can you actually afford to Shield Slam a uh, Totem Golem? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Shaman doesn't actually have a lot of big guys. It's actually a pretty good target to Shao Yeah. Okay. There's like uh, there's fire elementals. There's Alakir you need to deal with. There's like the sludge belchers, but like yeah, there's nothing like super super big. It's not like against Druid where there's like a bunch of big big threats. Ooh, that's not the totem you wanted to yep. see. Yeah. This whirlwind effect's really good, but at the same time, like Wreckful doesn't actually need to swing here. Uh, no, he, he can just play Belcher. Yeah, he can just play Belcher and ignore the board. Uh, that being said, because Despite was played after the Haunted Creeper, the Haunted Creeper will have its Death Rattle trigger first. So if he's, if Rekfoy elects to shoot the swing at the Creeper, the all of those spiders die. I would be really tempted. Yeah, that card's annoying. Like if it, it just like oh it leaves a totem on board and you can play five into six into five yeah. five here. Okay, five. well the second, that second makes it creep, the bit. second Creeper makes it a bit. Weird, like yeah, I don't think you want. Oh, unstable goal. That's an interesting. Uh, well, that was that was fast. No, yeah, Rekful on the spot. Um, one big thing, and like I'm I'm not bashing on Rekful or anything. I I would make this mistake all the time. But if you leave multiple copies of Hunt Creeper on the board, you forget which one was played before and yeah, which yeah, one was yeah. played after that. But it's impossible to keep track of. Mm. Uh, so trade in both totems first because then you uh, don't take any face damage, or you take two less face damage. Yeah, they were gonna Good die anyways there. to the second part of the yep. sludge. So, and with Despite gone, like this is actually like a pretty reasonable play that uh, Gara just made. So, oh, and Rekful's gonna go trip a little guy. He wants some armor for next turn. Yep, he's definitely gonna be able to shield slam something next turn. And it, this does, actually, it clears the one once at least. Yep. And the, the, actually, it puts w one damage on the flame tongue, which then uh, enables two armor smiths to actually kill that. So it forces the power base to be used on an armor smith instead of a, like a, a higher priority target. He did top deck the fire elemental though. Yep. But he it's... can kill both. Uh, he can definitely kill both armor smiths. But do you really want to put your fire elemental next to a flame tongue? Yeah, it's like you said last yeah. game. You don't. Want, this is not. Future. Yeah, Gar is too smart for that. Uh, gonna make the play that's not fire elemental. Uh, he don't want fire elemental to be Shazam. He wants to get rid of the armor first. And besides, like the belcher, um, the belcher behind it, or the flame tongue behind the belcher is like, it's protecting really it. Yeah. Uh, but Baron Geddon is a really good card against Shaman yeah, as well. It's not quite time yet, though. Uh, it, there's like not quite the setup. All he does right now is kill the Flame Tongue. Yeah. So, oh, just gonna chill. No, doesn't doesn't I chill mean, Flam. Actually, I think yeah, this is actually this sets up for oh. Baron Geddon. Yeah, this is beautiful actually. The because on board the Belcher goes into the Belcher, leaving the first Belcher at two health. The zombie yeah. Chow eats the other one, going to two health. And uh, Baron get him. As long as he doesn't get a uh, healing totem here. Yeah. Ooh, Talks. sometimes lucky. And it looks like a mana tide turn. Uh, the mana tide doesn't die to the Geddon, but like this is good enough. Yeah, this is definitely good enough. I'd actually like him to. S I'd like to see uh, Rex flashing ignore it. Like he d has the opportunity to shield he slam it as well. He could shield slam. Yeah. I really would like him to see him. I I don't want him to do that. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh. He's never gonna be able to 
kill it. Yeah, that's the thing. If that thing gets going, you're just going. It's gonna snowball so hard. Like, how is he ever like with his hand? How is he ever gonna kill it? Yeah, that's so true. I, I mean, I can see this. But the, like, you need that for fire elemental. That was, uh, it was your only removal spell. But I mean, as well here, like. Gara's removal is gonna get used on the on the Baron, so you have you do have the Sylvanas, which is kind of like a blocker for for any big guys. This is true, and the Geddon actually does need to get Hex. So from Rekful's perspective, using that Shield Slam is kind of okay because yep. Gara only has five mana left after that Hex. Uh, Dust, you, you can't really play a super big guy. You can't play Fire Elemental. So, yeah, so maybe that was actually really well calculated. So he has like yeah, a 5-5 five, five on board before anything happens. Yeah, absolutely, which can test the Fire Elemental preemptively. Yeah. Rekfo's hand is actually pretty good. He don't want Gara to draw a lot of cards at this moment. It is the moment uh, that Rekfo has the chance to, to go back to the board. Yeah, it's like you were saying before, like when you're playing cards like Heal Bot, a lot of weapons, you don't really have, you don't have space for like the Azure Drakes. Oh, oh wow, it's just... Okay, I like this play as well. You get to save your Hex for something big like the Sarah later. Uh, you, you actually take base damage before Alex Raza, which is completely irrelevant, and you're actually giving yourself the turn where you can actually get value of the Healbot and the Power Mace on the same yeah. turn. So I really Aww. like that. Oh. And that's, from that's tempting. From Rekfall's perspective, I would say, oh, there's no Hex. And I would have... Uh, yeah, I, that's I, a Sarah. That that's so Sarah. tempting to play. I would have played it every time yeah. myself. Ooh. It's too good not to play so, Reds. So Fire Elemental needs to get played, and Power Mace needs to be used for Shield Maiden to die. Uh, but you forgo the value on the Power Mace. Do you care? But like, if you're going to get the value on the Power Mace this turn, uh, you have to play Heal Bot, which is kind of useless. Yeah. And you, can, you don't have an attack, so... Actually, like using your Hero Bar as Shaman, this matchup is really, really big. And with the Overload 2, with the Fire Elemental play, you actually don't get to squeeze that in. Is that, is that like reason enough to like... But you don't want to attack. Do you just forgo the attack this turn and do it next turn with the Fire Elemental uh, hero power? So this turn would just be what, like... I mean, you heal bot, but heal you bot. wait and hope it doesn't die, I guess. So heal bot, no attack, and totem? Yeah, yeah. I, li I like it. Yeah, I think that's a completely reasonable line. It's a 33% chance to get Taunt Totem, which would... I think would... he wants to play a Fire Elemental because he has two. All right. Uh, oh, okay. That seems like a... Oh, he rolls Taunt Totem, which actually prevents, uh, protects the heal bot against a weapon. Like, like if, if he Totem first, I would agree a lot oh, more. And there's the weapon top deck. Yeah. Yeah, well... He got... Totem afterwards. Yeah. He got really lucky. But the Garabesh I guess. Taunt Totem every day. Uh, yeah, Sylvanas is actually like a really poor card in this matchup because of the Totem population. You never, you're never going to steal something good, realistically, so... Um, not really a reason to use a Hex here, you just... Your uh, Gar is just going to donate his um, Spell Power Totem t over to the Wreckful and probably use one of the Fire Elementals to clean up the 5 too. Yeah, I mean... There's so many hex targets in uh, yep. in Rekful's deck, so why use a hex on a Sylvanas where you can just give him a zero two totem? Like from Shaman's perspective, if you have a four card hand, I, I'd probably say this is the best possible hand against Controller. I use Gara's list to play on ladder, and the most disturbing thing is about the power mess Ooh. and how both come. He doesn't agree. Okay. Well, oh. Given that he did draw the second hex, he's like he's, he can he's gonna use the first one for tempo, and see where where that takes him. Uh, Sarah gets drawn. Do you execute? Yep, yeah, you do. What if you get you Sarah Awakens? You're really good at the game. This is a pretty good execute target. All right, so nightmare. Nightmare, not really what you want to see. Yeah, not quite Awakens. Uh, this is definitely a good hex target. Yep. Uh, Rexel actually played this real well. Like he he baited the hex. Yeah, and he did. Then, and then he, yeah, he did it really well. Unfortunately for him, um, the Gara second just had the second one. Yep. And he is getting slowly grinded out at this point. Slime uh, is fine. There's actually a pretty reasonable play of actually putting Nightmare on the 5-5 five five and just letting it hit you for 10 just to kill it. Like, you can just use Nightmare as a removal spell in this, 
in this spot. Like, you have I lots mean, of health to play with. Yeah. I guess you don't have to now when you draw Dr. Boom. Yeah, that seems like a good play. Ooh. But that's a pretty good card as well. Yeah, that's going to enable all the small guys to trade up into that Dr. Boom. Yeah, you um, can trade the Argus or the Totem and then... And in conjunction with the Fire Elemental, like, it's... Like, you put it next to the 2-2 two, two, and that, that, go, that goes to 4, puts the boom to 3 health, and then it's perfect Fire Elemental. Yeah. And then you just but put the Fire Elemental as far away from the Flame Tongue as possible. But the, yes. but the thing is, that's both your cards in your hand, and if you get Brawled, you have nothing left. That is true, that is true. Like, that's definitely got to be... Although, you do, you do know Warrior actually has one card in his hand. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he will play Fire Elemental. I actually don't know what he's doing this turn. He traded. Okay. I would have liked to save the, that card. But he just wants to save the Fire Rally, I guess. So he's just not playing it. Does yeah, it makes sense. He wants something Ooh. to reload after all. Oh. And he linked out him getting value. And Flame Tongue definitely going to be a nuisance for um, for Wreckful. So, I mean, you're getting. You're shield slamming this Absolutely. Spread. And let the top deck war begin. Uh, unfortunately, this Shield Maiden just dies to the Argus plus the Fire Elemental. So, uh, Rekful is playing from behind here. Oh, Alec, here's wow. a sick one here. Uh, yep, he's immediately so going to play that. Yeah, that, that's... Uh, so, Rekful really needs something to... Doesn't even Totem playing... No, no he, Totem. Yeah, he's playing around Brawl. Yeah, he's probably... Not, he, like, he's actually not going to do anything for the rest of the game. Execute. He's just going to hit him for six or seven every single turn until... Um, until uh, Reckful deals with it. Oh, that's so, yeah. pretty good top decks. Wow, you have a lot of small draws. draws are insane. He already used two fire tongue, to fire tongue totem, so he don't think there's no there's any need to play totem now. No, mm. there, there there really isn't. Justicar actually almost negates the the damage on the board. He still takes a bit every turn, but like he, this turn he. He took seven last turn and he heals for six. It's like, eh. This, oh, this no, wait, there's fire, a new hammer, too. This fire elemental. Oh, my God. Doesn't get much better value than no. that. And but now he has, actually, Rekful actually has a really good brawl, Gar if he can find it. Yeah, him. absolutely. Gara has sense weakness, though. Like, he's, look at, like, see how fast he's playing his turns. Yeah. He's just like, I want you to die. I mean, he is going to die pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, fireworks. You can execute the Alec here. Yeah, it does save you a lot of health over like the next few turns. Uh, how did you ever kill that Fire Elemental? I guess you have to. You still have to draw Brawl, right? Yeah, you just have to, definitely. He's out of Shield Slams. That's his second execute. So he's actually out of removal at this point. He has one Shield Slam left, right? Does he? No, no, he used both. Oh he yeah, killed, he, used, he killed, yeah, a, he he killed, killed a Mana Tide, tide and then he killed a Flame yeah. Tongue. So he killed two Totems with Shield Slams. And um, that's the worst draw, but he already and he already successfully drew very well in the previous turn, yeah. so it, it's okay. So he has 10, 11 next turn, so he wants to add a bit of more pressure to the board. Yeah, so uh, this actually set up lethal. 10, 11, 13, quite, 15, right? yeah, it's two off actually. Oh, is big that a game. big game hunter yeah, off the top? Be. It must be. That's a nice go, 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 top deck. Uh, he's not that nice. He, yeah, it's not that good. I like saving the Fire Warrior here because the onboard trade of the big game hunter into it is actually like nice. So that forces Gara to actually trade a Shredder to protect that. So saving the Fire Warrior is really a, really a nice heads up player. Yeah. Um, does Rekful have any bombs left in his deck? Like he, I guess he has an Alexstrasza or something like that left, right? Gromash. 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 Like. Yeah, there's definitely some um, some big guys left. Ooh, that's oh, 10 to 14 off. damage. Not very lethal. Had he tempoed that out last turn, he would have won. <laughs> King Temp Wow. Um, this is so awkward for um, for Gara because if you just like go on this the Smork life, the big game hunter gets to challenge uh, the Shredder unless you roll Taunt Totem. Nope. Um, yeah. I guess that's why you totem first before you do the play. If yeah. you get taunt totem, you don't have to attack with your weapon. Yeah. You also don't want to put your opponent into two because then the Alex is the top deck actually just wins Wreckful the game. Yeah. Wow. This is this is so conservative, and he's actually. Does I actually he think more, he has more weapons. More weapons. Oh my god. And he don't need the weapon to go through the top because he's got silence. This is true. 
And shield, shield block, blocks. pretty good. Yep, five health and a different card. Into a Acolyte. Looks like a three mana card. Yeah, it is an Acolyte indeed. And I guess that got silenced pretty quickly. Oh, oh. Kara is just so good at this game. <laughs> <laughs> He hits, wow. he hits eight yeah, times. I'm, I'm just like, why is he using the last charges of his Doom Hammer? Because his next card, he yeah, stopped that game's Doom Hammer. Jesus, that is a lot of Doom Hammer to the face. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Oh, boy. There's the Brawl. It's not yeah. even good now. Yeah, he slowly dealt with the board inefficiently. It's and not now this even good. Yeah. He probably wants to draw a card first. Do you? What if mm. you? I think you want to Brawl first and then kill Novice Engineer with the Acolyte. I think he wants more card. What are you looking for off the top? What it, what does he have left? I think he has a sludge left. A sludge? Sludge wouldn't be bad right now. Uh, oh. That's, but, oh, no, no, no. You're just taking more damage. Uh, he's dead if he does this. Wow, yeah. so hurt. And if it's not a, anything, even a 1-1 one, one kills him. Yeah, and so this is that is exactly <laughs> full for Gara. Oh, wow. no. never mind. So mad, Aliso. Never mind. And my mo never mind. I think the world's coming to an end. We just saw Shaman, Shaman 4 0. 0. Wow. Yeah, I, wow. Did, I did not expect to be saying that right now. So Gara stays true to his name. Best Shaman. Gara, best Shaman indeed. Uh, that was actually really impressive. That was insane. I like. I like. The, the, the first games against aggro decks, like he drew the Kazan on curve, and yeah. against control where he just nails back to back Doom Hammer. Zombie so Shell in his opening hand. Yeah, Turn two Creeper into Coin, four into Kazan. The Kazan always comes on time. Yeah. That's why he plays it, right? Obviously. Yeah, yeah. Just double Doom Hammer value. If they, they play a minion, you top the Kazan. Uh, they play a uh, secret, you top the Kazan. That's how it works. It's Karma. What up, Gara? You can sit Hello. next to me, Gara. Okay. Feels good, man. Did you expect that? 4 0 with Shaman? No. Well, actually, I planned it, but I didn't oh, expect it. I, oh, I, I, planned, I planned the 4 0 on Shaman. <laughs> yeah, I tried. So, two Doom Hammers, a Kazan. What the, are you playing like 35 cards in that deck? <laughs> no. It's like all over the place. No, yeah, you have to take it. I take my decks to beat everything. You know, like before I go into in a tournament, I don't think about getting top eight or top four. I always plan to win the tournament. Okay. And I think my entire lineup can pretty much beat anything. So like if I lose with Shaman, my next deck can sweep. So this is like how I play it. I tried with Shaman and it worked out, so I don't have to play more that's good. Yeah, that looks nice. That looked like uh, one that looked like the best deck in the whole tournament, like four oh on it. That's yeah, I, I put like I put like hundred hours into building it. Uh, shout out to Blackout who helped me like practice. I played like every day 14 hours to just make the best possible Shaman deck and yeah, I think that that is the best deck the, that I brought. That's nice. I mean, yeah. it definitely worked out against Rekful and do you know who you play next in the uh, quarterfinals? The, oh, winner, semifinals. the winner between Frodan and Super GG. Who would you, oh. rather, who would you rather play? Frodan? <laughs> <laughs> then it's, then you, want, you want to play against another, you want a Tempo Store member to go through, right? I want one Tempo Store member to be in the finals. Yeah. I can lose to Frodan. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, I think we're going to jump to... But, but I think I played well, man. You definitely you did played well. Play well. I, I still you you drew Kazan on curve a lot. Yeah. Yes. yes. Two, two out of uh, four games you drew the Kazan on, on but curve. But my deck is so good, like... <laughs> <laughs> like against Hunter, like I have so many counters, like double Argus, heal bot, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like hexes for Hymens, I can draw so much. Also, yeah. also your Druid opponent doesn't have a play if they'll turn four. So that, that was, a, that yeah, was that well was played. Good. That yeah, was yeah. really well played. Either you get Druid things, like ah, BG, uh, Dr. Boom is still strong. Like yeah, even if you play it on five, it. Yep. it's pretty strong. I have to like use free cards to kill uh, Dr. Boom yeah, absolutely. almost all the time. So yeah. Congratulations, man. How do you feel? It does it feel good? Yeah, feel good. You're ready for your semifinal? You're going to yeah. win the tournament? I hope so. Oh, yeah. I believe in you. It's cool because it's with Shaman, right? Yeah. Like if you feel for or with Hunter or something, it's... Yeah, no one cares. But Shaman is nice. So, yeah. Gachigasm. Gachigasm. All right. So, I guess we're going to a small break while the uh, while Froden and JJ gets ready to, to play their game. Um,
I mean, it's not going to be long. They're already getting ready, so. Stay tuned. We'll be back. 